Nevada is one of the most underinsured states in the nation. If there were ever a state that will benefit from this, it is Nevada. It is in Nevada because this will allow people to have health insurance and it will stop people from having to file bankruptcy even though they have health insurance. 80% of bankruptcies are because of health care costs. 65% of those people that file bankruptcy because of health care costs have health insurance. So this is uh, going to work so well. On the floor before the vote last night, I talked about some of the things that relate to Nevadans. A teenager named Caleb Waltz is a high school student from Sparks, Nevada. Caleb was born with legs at end above his knees. As children mature, even Caleb, they grow out of their clothes. Most kids grow out of their shoes. Caleb doesn't. A lot of kids probably get a new pair every year, but Caleb has needed a new pair of prosthetic legs every year since he was five. <coughs> Unfortunately, unbelievably, Caleb's insurance company has decided knows better than his doctor and has decided Caleb doesn't need those legs. That's why this bill will make it illegal for insurance companies to use pre-existing conditions and excuse to take our money but not give you coverage. Under this proposal, families will no longer have to worry about their children not being able to get health insurance because they have a pre-existing disability, diabetes. Maybe the kid was in an accident. They will now be entitled to insurance at the same rate as everyone else. This is so very, very vitally important to families in Nevada. This is going to be great for creating jobs. Now, 24,000 small business in Nevada qualify for these tax subsidies that will allow them to insure their employees. That is terrific. So people now who are looked upon as being mean and not caring and cheap, but in fact, they can't afford it, now will be able to provide insurance for their employees. It's good for everyone. We had an event today where the American Medical Association President Dr. Wilson from Florida was with us supporting this legislation. We have AARP supports this legislation. American Cancer Society, Hospital Association, nurses, dietitians, uh, even the Business Roundtable, a totally oriented business organization, is looking at this as something that's a step in the right direction. This is good legislation. Is it perfect? Of course not. But it's the most important thing we've done with health care since Medicare, and even more so than that probably, because we've been trying to do it before Medicare came into being, going back to the days of Harry Truman.